Yeah, yeah, quality match. I mean, like, you it, always have good quality it won't matches. feel right if you don't win with a quality match. Yeah, exactly. Anyways, yeah, forget about that for now. Kenzo Brass versus Brass. Brass is not giving him respect right away. That That is interesting. Brass being really aggressive with that right now. Oh, there we go. That that exchange on that fireball is no good for Ryu. Oh, drops the combo. Hey, Brass is doing a good job, though. He's keeping Ryu in the corner, which is interesting. Maybe he studied a little bit from the, the, the Bible of Knuckle Dew. Yeah, the Bible of Knuckle Dew. I'm sure he hit up Knuckle Dew right before this. Week. <laughs> oh, that wake up uppercut. Nice. Uh, Brass doesn't have to do the whole ton right here. Yeah, don't need to go for big normals. Because what you just saw right there was a free punish for Ryu that crouching forward. Yeah. Play really simple. Use your positioning to your advantage and just grind him down. Growl is not a character meant for that kind of. Uh, he's not a finisher, yep. so you don't need to do that. He has way more better tools to, to finish a game, and usually it's by grinding it out. You know, I, I, Eric should just. He has life lead. He should just. And he has meter too. He could just keep him out, and by the time Ryu gets in, he can use his flash kick to get out. But Reaction Ultra is the best answer, of course, because. That, there it is. Brass's reactions are pretty freaking good. No, he's, is the thing also is like <laughs> I, what I really appreciate about Brass's game is his ability to anticipate the opponent's next action, and, that, and I was saying it earlier, but that anticipation enhances your reaction. Oh yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah and reaction and anticipation are what wins, wins very you games. Hand -hand. They, they are one and the same. Yeah. yeah, it's like taking your gut feeling and taking your physical reactions and creating something amazing. Exactly, you get that slight split second that's that you're able to execute faster than you're usually able to because yeah. you see it. Faster. Because you anticipate, yeah, yeah. If you don't anticipate and you react, it's kind of more like a reflex. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. But Brass is playing good with the life lead. And it gets the scores a hit right there. See, he has the life lead, he's doing great. Oh, Kenzo, low forward fireball. Yeah, well, that was a really aggressive uh, focus attack right there earlier by Guile. And, and look, at, look at where it is now. It's a close game, and now he doesn't have the lead. Oh, that was good. Oh. All these wake up moves. Oh my god. No, you're right. You know, I feel like he kind of overextended himself. It was, a, it was an overextension for sure. Didn't yeah. need to focus. Didn't Can need rely. to. Gal again has a lot of terrific tools. You don't have to focus. Not like that, at least. No need. No, 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 not at all. Earlier I mentioned that you could empty jump that crouching fierce, but if Gal does standing medium, he will catch that empty jump instead. Or even your forward fierce. There's a lot of interesting exchanges that you have to kind of be really aware of against a character like Guile, even Ryu, for instance. I, I, I wonder how, how deep this match can get, like, this in depth. This match is deep. Yeah, it's like, I've deep. seen this match for years, you know, John Choi and Lamer Boy. And oh my god, that, those matches gave me a headache watching. I know, right? It's just like, I can only imagine how tense and stressful it must be. They, like, right now, it's definitely stressful. Brass is on a life deficit and Kenzo's being aggressive. Oh my god, the fake cross up. Beautiful. Oh goodness, yeah, yeah. I want to see Brass pick King because then keep though. I think, well, I don't know. We just said earlier he's going to just stick to Guile. So let's see if he actually sticks to just Guile. I, I agree with you that I think he should move over to Keep though. I, I, yeah, I think it was on the Keep. But you know, you got to let, I feel like people, have, he can adapt. But here's a, here's a good thing though. If, if, if Brass is really taking Guile seriously, then this is actually a better investment. This is, uh, okay. I think if he wants to win, Geep is the way to go, but if he wants to really play Guile and be able to use him as a counter pick at a high level, this is a better choice. Yeah. Because this is a way for him to put real tournament experience together with the character he's picking up and really just uh, doing some self discovery here. Yeah, yeah, he's not making it a secondary in casuals. He's, he's using him in tournaments so he yeah. can be a legitimate secondary, which is exactly. a great Exactly. So if for, for that reason alone, I think this is a great choice. Yeah. Because he knows in the future he's going to play Guile against Ryu. Exactly. And he knows so. that, so he might as well get better now. Exactly. There's no other time to get better than now. Don't don't think about just winning. Think about being able to utilize uh, more of your abilities to its fullest. And this is and, and for that reason, that's why this is a good choice. Yeah. He might not win this, and we saw that in the first round. But right now he has a fat lead. A fat yeah. lead. Yeah, yeah. I don't. He, he look at that. He's just walking back, holding that life lead. Forty seconds doesn't matter as long as he's holding it, right? Yeah. Good job, Brass. See, now Kenzo, he's going to have to really struggle. Any jump can just kill him. We're starting to see some of those those things I mentioned come to fruition here, where oh, he's learning the matchup and he's slowing it down. We're not seeing over-aggression, over extensions now. Look yep. at this. Yep. Keeping a roughly three-quarter screen away. And that's okay. It's just a throw, not a big damage. And he, and right here, he just doesn't even have to tech. Well, that was oh, out of defense. distance. But... No, he, uh, Brass played that round perfectly. Yeah, that was perfect. Perfect was, round, perfect round. And that was, I was talking about the whole, like, just grind right there. That was a grind. It was at the 12-second mark, and Kenzo had to play 
uh, cat and mouse the entire time. Using his uh, get out of jail free cards? Yeah. That's the, I think that's the best way to use Flash Kick in this match. Yeah. Just use it to get out of pressure and then make Ryu come at you again, you know? Absolutely. It's the most stressful. Oh, Kenzo gets the being throw. really aggressive now. See, and I wonder, does Brass want to throw out a Flash Kick just because? Oh, nice answer. It's good. Wow, that was nice aggressive. aggressive. Throw. Well, he's, he's down. He's got to do something. Nice work. Wow. Wow. Now, Brass that is do the was Oh! Okay, that should shake up Kenzo for sure. That's taking a, a huge, amazing combo into the Ultra 2. Yep. He's got the confidence he needs to close out the match. Now, I'm not going to lie. That was, that was amazing. Sick. That, that was, was sick. You never really see people like confirm into it off the ground like not that. Like that. Not like that. Not like that. Not like that. I've seen do some amazing things, but not like that. Not like that, yeah. Most people do like, oh, he whiffed an uppercut. Now I have all this time to yeah. think about this combo. But he did it like as a mix-up right there on the ground. He got the hit confirm and he did the ultra, which is like pretty optimal. That makes Guile 10 times scarier when he does that. That makes Guile extremely scary when you see something like that. That's a huge combo, huge damage output. Yeah. Now I wonder if Kenzo, is Kenzo going to counter pick? No, he's going to take a breather. Now this is, don't forget, Kenzo is from Japan and he's Tokido's student. Mm -hmm. So Tokido has taught him very good fundamentals. As we can see, right? I mean, we've seen the terrific fundamentals from Kenzo. The only thing Kenzo doesn't have is experience. Experience, he, yeah. His experience, you can tell. Like, when I played him on Friday, I, was, yeah. I abused his inability to read certain movements. Right? Yeah. No, I feel the same way. Like, some matches he just doesn't know. I feel like the 8-on match, he has no clue, you know? Exactly. And, and on top of that, he hasn't played Ultra that much. He's played for Super until now, but not Ultra. Yeah, yeah. So he's learning. But it's, it, he's picking it up really quick. He did quickly. But nice in this case, Brass has adapted pretty quickly himself, too. Nice answer. Again, we're in the neutral game, roughly mid screen. Let's see who can take position first. Punish? Nice. That was a, that was a solid punish. And now we have Gal in the corner, so Kenzo's establishing position already. He's got to take advantage of this, though. He's not in his sweet spot. I, I like how Brass is playing really solid in, in the corner. No, Gabas is playing terrific from the corner. Yeah, he's playing really good in the corner. He's also reading the movement of Kenzo right now. Whenever Kenzo walks out of position and walks forward, he's getting caught by normals. They're not big normals, but, it, but they're still damage. And and that big lead that Kenzo had, or should have had, and it's practically, oh no. Ooh, combo? Ultra. Nice, that was so solid. That's a legit... Wow. He, nailed, he has that down! Wow. He has that down! He has that down to a T. That That's really Most people, like, they'll whiff a Tatsu and they'll reset and yeah. hit them too early. Yeah. But he waited until Ryu fell down and then got the ground combo. I think this should be fine. And they're, they're, they're going to go with it? Yep, they're going to go with it. Going. Yeah, Kenzo uh, not used to the start button on my stick. Uh, Again, we're here in that neutral game. Earlier, Ryu had a lead and... Uh, couldn't really take advantage, couldn't get into his sweet spots, and kept getting caught walking too much. That was good answer. Yeah, it's terrific. I mean, like, I feel like Kenzo's fireball game, like, it's pretty solid. His neutral game, he's always pushing uh, Brass into the corner, but then, like, something happens, and he doesn't, he can't close out the match. So he lost here. He's gotten, just those last two incidents, just right now, he got caught walking forward, and, and Brass just has his timing down. Uh, Brass has a, he, he's got his rhythm for sure. See, I love how he used that flashing. That's the best way to use it in this match, in my yep. opinion. Same here. Oh, oh missed times that crouching fierce. Nice, nice flash kick. Wow, Kenzo with the wake up Shoryu. Well, kind of an ill time standing roundhouse there. You know I mean? Um, Ryu had the two sticks of butter, or, or the oh two God. bars, and that was, you know, that opportunity right there to just DP. Yeah, right? So, I mean, yeah. You don't even have to have a reason. The fact that he stood yeah. next to him was yeah, enough reason. Kenzo had nothing to lose in that yeah, situation. He, he didn't have anything to lose, so why not? Yeah, smart choice. Yeah. Wow, last game point for both of these players. This is amazing. I'm already really impressed with how far Brass has played with Guile. I've never seen play Guile this well. No, I haven't so seen So props either, to him so. so far. No, absolute props to him. This is uh, this is pretty good play. I'm really impressed. I like it. Nice anti -air. See, Kenzo pressing him towards the corner. But for some reason, Brass is just harder to kill when he's in the corner. For some reason. Oh, but good fireballs. Oh, nice combo to the sweep. Oh, this is looking quite dangerous here for Brass. Oh, one more hit into the stun, probably. Oh, missed times that jumping short. He gets thrown instead. This is an opportunity for Brass to make a comeback. Can he do it? Not quite yet. Oh, 
my god, Kenzo just has to throw a couple more fireballs to close it out. He can't get shaky. One jump and could kill Kenzo. Oh, nice throw. Kenzo finishes it off out of Japan. Oh, Kenzo dabs well. I gotta, I gotta give him props as well. But I mean, big props for Brad sticking to his secondary. Uh, Truly dedicated to learning the match.